All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, on deck today, we're going to do uh, another test with the uh, AAC aftermarket barrel and the Glock factory threaded barrel. Uh, last time, we did a little accuracy test uh, in the last video, and we did see uh, a couple differences. Uh, so today, what we want to see is does the polygonal rifling of the Glock barrel yield higher velocities than the traditional rifling in the AAC barrel. Um, Glock states that it does. Most people seem to agree that typically you'll get higher velocity. Um, but I'd like to see just how much on average. So what we have uh, obviously is our AAC uh, aftermarket barrel, our Glock factory threaded barrel. The barrels are the same length. Uh, what we're going to be using is Spear Lawman uh, 147 and 115 grain. Uh, we have some uh, Federal HST 147 grain. Uh, also, we have some Hornady Critical Duty 135 grain plus P. We have some Remington HTP uh, 115 grain plus P. And we have some Federal uh, BPLE 115 grain plus P plus. So a pretty good smorgasbord of, of weights and uh, different pressure levels. So we'll go ahead and throw five of each over the crony with each barrel. Uh, we'll tally it all up at the end and we'll see what we get as far as uh, our velocity figures and whether or not the polygonal rifling actually increases the velocity. And if it does, on average, how much? All right, so we're gonna start things off with the factory barrel. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'll tell you what each uh, round is gonna be, then I'll time lapse through the shooting. Uh, then I'll go up and show you the results after each one. Uh, and then at the end, I'll have it all written down, and we'll go over it briefly uh, to see if there's any differences. But that way, this won't take forever. All right, this will be the 147 grain Lawman factory barrel. Low 982, high 1002, average 992. All right, 147 grain Federal HST. Low, 1,014. High, 1,046. Average, 1,029. All right, this will be Hornady Critical Duty, 135 grain plus P. Huh. Low, 1,022. High, 1,065. Average, 1,052. All right, this will be the 115 grain Spear Lawman. Low 1281, high 1312, average 1292. Wow, that's right up there with a plus P plus load. Interesting. We'll have to see what we get with the standard barrel and see if that's not some false readings. All right, this will be the Remington HTP 115 grain plus P. Okay. Low 1248, high 1293. Average 1264. All right, this will be the Federal BPLE 115 grain plus P plus. Low 1333, high 1352, average 1342. All right, this will be the AAC barrel with the traditional cut rifling. Uh, this is the Spear Lawman, 147 grain. Low, 
low 971, high 984, average 979. All right, this will be the 147 grain HST. Low 923, high 982, average 966. This will be the Hornady 135 grain critical duty plus P. Low 977, high 1014. Average 993. Okay, this will be the Spear Lawman 115 grain. Low 1226, high 1269, average 1250. All right, this will be the Remington 115 grain plus P HTP. Low 1184, high 1263, average 1236. All right, last up, this will be the Federal BPLE, 115 grain plus P plus. Low 1301, high 1348, average 1326. All right, so I uh, tallied up the numbers uh, and the numbers don't lie. The polygonal rifling did increase the velocity, uh, in some cases fairly significantly, uh, at least as it relates to expansion uh, and things of that nature. Um, our Spear Lawman had an increase of only 13 feet per second, uh, but our HST had an increase of 63 feet per second. The Critical Duty, 59 feet per second. The Spear Lawman, 42 feet per second. Uh, that's the 115 grain. Uh, the HTP, 28 feet per second and the BPLE uh, 16 feet per second. So in some cases this uh, increase was pretty much the difference between a plus P and non plus P load. Um, so if you think about that in terms of self-defense uh, you are actually getting very close to if not at plus P velocities uh, with a non plus P round as it relates from the polygonal to traditional rifling uh, at least with these two barrels. Uh, also in competition, now I don't think 9mm is going to make major anyway, but other calibers, I'm not sure what the spread on this would be, but it is something to consider. You may be able to make a uh, major a little easier uh, with the polygonal rifling. So personally for self-defense, if I can get more velocity uh, to ensure better expansion without having increased barrel length or increased pressures, why not? Uh, for everything else, just everyday use, I don't know that you'll really see much difference here. Uh, and how this actually, uh, how you feel about this, you know, that's up to you in, in your own personal use. One thing I will say, switching from that standard barrel to that AAC barrel with the uh, TBRC mini comp on it is, I can really tell the difference between having the mini comp on there and not having the mini comp. So switching uh, right back one after the other was, was actually, uh, you could tell the difference. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys, uh, if you like this kind of content and you haven't already done so, go ahead and like and subscribe. Share the video if you would. Uh, it helps the channel out. Uh, and as always, I do appreciate the comments, guys, but please keep those comments professional. And I'll see you guys next time.